You know, one of the best parts of traveling is stepping out of your comfort zone and trying new things. Let me tell you, my very first meal in Istanbul was at this restaurant and I unknowingly had an intestine sandwich, which was actually quite tasty if you don't think about what you're eating. The best way to start your day in Istanbul is with a delicious Turkish coffee. But actually, you can have them any time of day or night. The coffee master. Turkish coffee, very good. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Turkish coffee. <laughs> Look at that. Ah, look at that. Beautiful Turkish coffee. Good smash. All right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, so I just had the Turkish coffee and I was uh, making a video of the guys who made it. The Turkish coffee. Um, as I've said before, it's, it's, it's very different than our coffee. It's very finely ground, very, it's very powdery. And they put their, the grinds straight into the, the pot and they boil it. They get it just as it's about to boil. And then they take it off of the fire. And they're constantly stirring it up. And then you let the, they let the grind settle to the bottom and you drink it. And when you get to the bottom, you're going to have like a little bit of mud at the bottom because the coffee's not filtered out. So it's very unique. And if you want sugar, you have to order sugar before. So they put the sugar in as they're cooking the coffee, not afterwards. Um, so it's a little different, but it's a very unique taste. And I like it. Not everybody likes it, but I think when you're in Turkey, you have to try a Turkish coffee. All right, so I finished my uh, coffee and now I want to show you the the bottom can you see the all the coffee grinds in there that are left over so you drink it down to the bottom and then you stop when you get a little bit of mud in there and I guess some places they uh, do like a fortune telling they read your coffee grinds to see what your fortune is going to be kind of like reading tea leaves I suppose but anyway Turkish coffee bottom of your cup All right, so we're having a little Turkish breakfast in our neighborhood. And look, we got these beautiful vegetables, cucumber, tomatoes, some cheese, olives, some borek. Um, we have a, a chai and a um, Turkish coffee, bread. And this is menemen, and it is um, scrambled eggs. It's like scrambled eggs, and it has cheese in it. And this is really good. It is like um, scrambled eggs with salsa if you will. So it is quite delicious and you just kind of take it, scoop it up, stick it on your bread and this is, this is really good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's one of the best things I've had in Turkey. <coughs> To be quite honest with you, a little spicy, but man, it is really, really good. Nice Turkish breakfast. Good appetit. Oh, yeah, good stuff. All right, we got our lambacoon fresh out of the, the stone oven. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, whatever this is, some parsley maybe, and squirt some lemon on there. We got the spicy kind. Mm -hmm. So good, so good. Guten Appetit. All right, boom. A little bit of yogurt to drink. See that? Mm. 
And the yogurt is like a perfect drink. If you're drinking something spicy, it helps cut the spice down. But um, yeah, there you go. Really good. Lambacoon. Okay, we also got some pita. Look at that. Also fresh out of the oven. Nice melted cheese on there. Mm -hmm. This is our favorite neighborhood bakery with a friendly staff that always made us feel welcome. You know, turkey isn't just baklava and pita. There's also a variety of cakes, cookies, pastries, and breads to satisfy your craving for carbs. All right, so this is what they call the cookie bomb. And I guess it's a cookie filled with chocolate. I don't know if it's, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it's like a inside chocolate chip cookie with a big chocolate chip. It didn't explode, but it is kind of like a giant chocolate chip. Tasty, very sweet, but um, it's pretty good. I wish I had a nice cup of coffee to go with it, <clears throat> but I think they're out of coffee, they're out of tea. The best we could do is a bottle of water. So anyway, so this is, I guess, a traditional dessert in Istanbul, the cookie bomb. Got to try one when you're here. Okay, the best donor in Katikoy. We got donor with rice. It looked excellent as he was slicing it off the spit. We had some delicious lentil soup, we got some french fries, salad. Betty's drinking some Iran, I think it's called, a yogurt drink. All right, looks delicious, looks great, smells great. Bon appetit. Okay, so we stopped at this, uh, pharmacy we were looking for some eucerin lotion and the people at the pharmacy were really nice they bent over backwards to help us and to find some stuff that we needed um, and then when we left they gave us a, a list of their recommended places uh, to visit and on the list was this place called espresso lab it's kind of a local chain i guess We've seen several of them before. Uh, haven't been in one, but we came in this one, and it's really nice. They make you know traditional like coffee, like I guess Starbucks type coffee. Um, they also have like croissants and things like that. Uh, they have their own bakery, so you can go in and you can see where they're baking their own stuff. And also, uh, they make like the, the traditional Turkish coffee and uh, the chai, Turkish tea. So. Um, if you're looking for a place to get uh, an espresso, latte, cappuccino, or a Turkish coffee or a chai, then check out Espresso Lab. Very friendly and good service. All right, so here in our neighborhood, our region of Katikoy, uh, they're supposed to have the best ice cream. We walked by yesterday and this shop, the line was really long. That was Sunday. Today on Monday, there's still a line, but not quite as many people. So we have pistachio and coffee. I really like the crunched up peanuts on top. It's quite good. All right, that's good ice cream. Okay, so we have the Iskender um, donor. And um, if you're familiar with donor kebab, donor. And we have the donor meat, and it's on top of bread, and it with the tomato sauce on it. And then they pour hot butter over the top. And then you have your yogurt on the side with the pepper and tomato. So, different way to eat donor. And let's see. Mm. That's good. Bon appetit.
All right, Betty, so uh, what are we eating for breakfast? Uh, for breakfast today, we're having a um, cheese burek and also half cheese burek and half potato burek that's been uh, cut up into nice bite-sized pieces. And we're also having um, a Finnish pita with cheese inside and it's delicious and large cups of uh, chai tea. Okay. And it's right down the street from our Airbnb. We just found it yesterday, and so we're excited that um, we have a good pita place to try. It's delicious. All right, sounds great. Hello, everyone. So we are about to have some baklava and ice cream here at this place. It's. Um, we went to this place at another location and it was excellent cake and baklava. And we've been reading about baklava with, baklava with ice cream. So we're pretty excited to try that. And we're also getting um, a chai, the traditional tea, and a Turkish coffee. Can't wait. So, right, so we have our baklava. It looks really good. We've got some ice cream, some pistachio, and cream. And we have a nice chai there and uh, I have a traditional Turkish coffee so it kind of looks like an espresso but uh, it's made a little bit differently it's not cooked in like a pressurized like an espresso but it's cooked in a little pot and the grounds the coffee is like really thinly ground up finely ground up and they actually just boil the coffee grounds into the water so at the bottom of your cup there's going to be some mud some coffee grinds but um, some really good, really um, powerful coffee, and now we get to eat our baklava. All right, so we have a dinner guest this evening, and we walked down our uh, neighborhood just down the road, and uh, we got this little place that makes uh, homemade uh, bento noodles and they are outstanding. We were here just two days ago, I think, and uh, wanted to come back, so these noodles are really good. We had chicken the other night, now we've got beef. They've got some uh, uh, kimbap, and we got the uh, kimchi kimbap the other night. We had beef, and uh, so yeah, this has been a real find in our neighborhood to come here and get these bento noodles. They're really quite delicious, and then you never know who's gonna join you for dinner. <laughs> All right, so, We've got these things, they're like donut holes. I don't know how else to describe them. A little pistachio powder on them and see them around, people selling them. So the service might be terrible, but uh, generally they're a pretty tasty snack. Catchy barbecue. It's supposed to be the best burgers in this den pool. If you've had your fill of traditional Turkish food and you need something different, you can get a great burger and fries from Ketchy Barbecue. It was delicious and really hit the spot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh. Hey! <laughs> Ah! Oh, 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 sure. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Lee. What My name is Ilhan. Ilhan? Yes. Alright. No. Test, test. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> okay? One All minute. Right. One minute. Okay, one minute. Extra for you, okay? Ah, uh, okay. Okay? Alright. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, so we are at Bit. Leslie, hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, in the middle of Istanbul, uh, not far from the Grand Bazaar, I think, not too far from the Grand Bazaar, uh, so a very busy part of, part of town, uh, but this meal was fantastic. Um, our tour guide, when we first got here, uh, recommended this restaurant to us, so this is the second time we've been here, so it's uh, a Wednesday evening, so it wasn't too busy tonight. Uh, but the service was fantastic, uh, and our food was really good. Um, the dish I had was the same name as the restaurant, Bit Um 
a garlic dish with lamb. It takes about 30, 35 minutes to cook. Uh, well worth the wait. That was absolutely delicious. Uh, Betty had chicken kebabs. They were also fantastic. You could tell they were cooked on the grill. Uh, really good. Um, we had an appetizer. Had an appetizer, it's called a, um, a, like a meatball or something like that, but it's, it's, it doesn't have any meat in it. But uh, we didn't really care for that too much. But uh, I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't the best thing we had. But they give you free appetizers, which were really good, like some sort of vegetable dip. And they gave us some sort of uh, sauteed uh, onions. Those were very tasty. And then they gave us lots of uh, chai uh, to drink. So very good. If you're in Istanbul, in the middle of the city, uh, by the bazaar, come to Bitlisi, and you will not be disappointed. It was an excellent meal. All right, so this is the dish of kanufe, kanafe. Not really sure, but it's um, kind of like a dessert dish. It's it's sweet, has uh, pistachio and uh, roasted uh, coconut, but it has like cheese in the middle, so it's not too sweet. So it's a good balance of sweet and uh, savory, I guess. And uh, let's see if we can get some of this. See the cheese pulling there. Very good. Just when you think it's a little too sweet, the sweetness goes away and you get that cheesy taste. It's a really, really good balance. Very nice dish. I wish I knew exactly what it's called. We'll put it in the screen, but very tasty, very delicious. Right around the corner from our Airbnb was our favorite fish restaurant. It's not a fancy place, but it offers delicious, fresh fish at a great price. They start you off with a free appetizer of fresh bread and dips. Be sure to order a fresh salad and the delicious calamari as a starter. We tried several different fish dishes and all were incredibly delicious. To top it off, the meal ends with a free dessert and a hot glass of chai. So this is really good. Everything we got. He took me inside, they have like a little bar. He pointed some stuff out and told me what it was. He said he'd bring us like some sample dishes. All right, so we have our, I guess appetizer plate. Then we have some hummus, some grape leaves. This is kind of like the cold dish. And then we have some different soups, vegetable soup. That is lamb shank. Oh, looks really good. Fantastic. It's really good. And then we got a, a kebab donor. Kebab. We got a kebab coming or a donor. And uh, can't wait to try that. All right. So we have our kebab donor wrapped up in pita. Looks really good. All the appetizers were outstanding. All right. After dinner, Chai. Of course, no trip to Istanbul is complete without picking up some lokum, otherwise known as Turkish delight, to pack into your suitcase for the trip home. Thanks for joining us on this tour of the culinary delights of Istanbul. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. And tune in next Sunday for more of our Turkish adventures.